you see, I got the blinking LED on the RTR board. I'm gonna show you and confirm that this board is actually bad. I'm supposed to have 24 volts coming up out of this board when I put it in test mode. So I'm gonna kill the power, put it in test mode and show you that the board is actually faulty. On my video. I just shut the power off. Turn it back on. I'm not getting power coming up out that board. And the compressors are not coming on. Alright, so let's rate this video up. So it's not blanking. I'm off. I'm gonna put in test mode. Test mode. That's for the fan. Hit a fan, right? And the compressor should be next. No voltage coming up out that board. It's not gonna bring it on, it's gonna jump the heat on next. See? Boy, it fucked here. I'm about to replace it. Hear the power? And over here, we have our new board. Well, I had replaced the board. That's the old board. And now here's the moment of truth to see if I um diagnosed it right. Test mode. Fan on. And the compressor should come on next. Yep. I don't got a good connection with my meter lead. I can't get a good connection with these leads, but as you can see, the unit is operating. So we had a faulty board. This is the unit. HVAC time. My HVAC journey. And here's my other unit where the RTR on board failed. I wasn't getting power out of the RTR on board to power the outdoor fan motor. And I'm about to put it in test mode to show you to see if my diagnosis was correct. Well, I'm sure it was. It was failing and I was like tapping on it and it was coming on. So I'm gonna show you. Zero volts, right? 
test mode, black guy. And they're found, all right? Come on. The process come on next. And the fan supposed to come on, but you see, fan ain't budging. Contact it for one compressor. No fan. That board bag. So I'm gonna replace the board and then I'm gonna show you afterwards. I have replaced the old board, the old one, and I have installed the new board. Now I'm about to see. I just want to get output voltage to the fan. Let's see if my diagnosis right. Here it goes. Test mode. Fan. Compressor should jump on. Not quite yet. J26 goes to the core of the fan, and that's it right there. And this is the unit. This is the last unit. The um, RTRM board is not sending power out on J33 to energize compressor number two. I'm gonna put it in test mode, and I'm gonna show you that is it's really not working. And then I'm gonna show you the after when I replace the board. All right, so. right blower just came on, that's test mode. Let's see if I diagnose right. Yep, that's it right there. You heard it shut off. And watch that compressor over there, come on. Do it again to show you. Give it a few seconds. Right. Test mode, the fan about to jump on. That contact is going to pull in, I think, for a split second. No, it's not going to pull in. The fan contact is going to pull in for like a split second. And it's going to trip out because it's not seeing voltage coming out of this board. So watch the fan contact to pull in for a split second and it can trip back out. See? And then stage compressor number one going to jump on. So I got to replace the board. And this unit should be back up and running. That's the new board. And that's the old one. And I'm about to install it. I have replaced the RTRM board. And I'm about to start it up and see what happens. 
right. We just started it up. Test mode blinking. That compress that that contact should stay energized and that compressor should stay on. And I should have voltage coming out now. Yep. supposed to be on J3-4, the red wire. I got 26 volts coming out. On J3-4. J3-4 is Compressor two out, it goes through the discharge line temperature. High pressure cutout comes back. One side of the core energized, the other side of the core energized. And the compressor. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna turn the other one on. Lost the voltage, energize it, and both of them will come on together. That's it. And this out here, working on the trains. 